head would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. Always happy to chat with a customer. What do you need? Seventy-six. Didn't think you had it in you to hang with us this long. You want to survive? You do what you gotta do. I'd love to see the look on those Foundation faces when they found out you gave us 50%. <laughs> I bet it was priceless. We need to do something about them. I'll go. It's my fault anyway. I know you're eager to help, but Sheena and Burke are the best there is. Anything that gives them trouble, 
It's going to be extremely dangerous. What are you doing here? You have some nerve showing up here after you sold us out. I'll let Marcia speak for herself. But I'm pretty sure she's not interested in going back. Hell no, I'm not. How about you don't waste everyone's time and just leave? I'm glad you asked. Well, it just so happens we're planning a dinner party. The Brotherhood will be our distinguished guests. We'd like to deliver a special thank you for showing up in Appalachia without even needing an invitation and laying down the law on this filthy, treacherous wasteland. You've done enough helping already. You had your chance, and you blew it. What about Sheena and Burke? It's their lives that are on the line, not yours. I value their lives as much as my own. I can't trust... I can't put their lives in the hands of the Brotherhood. That makes them as good as dead. If we stand by and do nothing, then they will be dead. Sheena and Burke went to AMS headquarters to retrieve something for us and haven't returned yet. Marsha. Damn it. Well, it wasn't my plan for you to know about this, but now that you do, I guess there's no way around it. Marsha is not going back with you. She's going after Sheena and Burke. She's been bossed around by the Brotherhood enough in her life. Why don't you do something for her for a change and help out? I overheard some Brotherhood initiates talking about how AMS headquarters was a place of interest. It was the piece of intel I gave to Pierce and the others so that they would consider letting me join. It's my fault that they're missing. I should have tried to get more information. Nice try. As much as it kills me, I'm not stupid enough to leave things unsupervised when two of us are already missing. I'm not going back to Fort Atlas. No one gave you the right to make my life decisions for me, and the Brotherhood doesn't own me. I feel better having one of us there instead of blindly trusting the Brotherhood. Make sure someone is focused on saving Sheena and Burke. One of us? You really mean it? I'll prove to you, Pierce, that I belong here. I'll undo what I've done. You being willing to put your life on the line for us is indication enough that you belong in this family. Bring my people back alive and in one piece. I'll meet you at AMS. I'm not coming back with you after, though. I have a new family now. I hope you're here for a reason. Don't let the skeletons in the cages scare you. We're perfectly capable of making it quick. I wonder how Max is doing. Probably getting into some sort of trouble. We're here to ensure that there remains a place for Crater in Appalachia. The more people come here, the more they'll want to take their own space, set their own rules, and then force those rules on others. Crater is our home, our freedom, our future. I won't allow anyone to take that away. Brotherhood thinks of itself as our saviors. 
They'll take what they believe is righteous. And when we refuse to give it, they'll strike us down. It starts small. Food and supplies, a home base. They offer protection in return. And hope. Hope is powerful enough to make you blind. So when they start asking for more, when they start setting rules, occupying homes, taking lives, and then it's too late. We can't let it get that far. Crater is my home now, and I would die to protect it. Brainwashed already, huh? That's a shame. I was hoping you had a little more sense than the rest of them. Besides the obvious scorched and mutant life, the Foundation, maybe. But it'll be a long time before they start asking for more. They're like us, in some ways. Just looking for a home. But don't tell Meg I said that. Too political for you? Don't worry. In the end, it just amounts to fighting. I wonder how Max is doing. Probably getting into some sort of trouble. Run? <laughs> Look, I'm not some kind of CEO or general. This is a family. Everyone does their part. Mine is the talking. Letting people know what we're doing all this for. How important it is. I may have started this effort, but it's the war party who moves it forward. And if you're not a part of it, I'd caution you to stay out of its way. Only good things. What do you want to know? She's more than a rung in a hierarchy. Sheena plans our operations. She's got a head for strategy. Said she used to play Blast Radius on repeat as a kid. Until she could beat everyone she knew, including the adults. Imagine that. World's gone to shit and people still find solace in games. At that age, I was... Well, still in school, studying for a future that never came to be. Burks, our muscle. The most hard-working person we've got. They don't talk much. Action is more their language. I wouldn't have it any other way. Because it suits them better. When I first met Burke, they were... different. Secluded. Like they didn't want anyone to see them. Burke flinched when others talked about them. People expected things based on how they looked. They had these... titles. Silent Man. Albino Dog. One day I asked if something else would feel better. It took some trial and error, but we eventually settled on the neutral they. They're a much happier person now, for the insignificant price of a word. I miss my friends back in Fort Atlas, but being a raider is awesome. Me too. We all have a public perception in this world. Sometimes it doesn't match what we feel inside. Sometimes there's nothing we can do about that, but other times there is. And I don't need to understand everything Burke is feeling to want to see a smile on the face. Meg has enough on her plate without the Brotherhood to deal with. I came to her one day with an army of raiders, raring to fight. She looked at me and said, What are you waiting for? Attention, this ain't no democracy. Just don't get Crater in trouble and we're good. So, Please, here we are. The war party. Is my home and Thank you for your cooperation. We have plenty of support. 
Not everyone wants to be directly involved, but those who do are ready to risk life and limb. There's also your fair share of mercenary craterites just looking for caps. But considering the Brotherhood could probably pay better, I suspect those mercs have an ounce of loyalty they're not willing to admit to. needs to learn to back off and let people live. Why not get to know them yourself? I'm sure you'll find there's more than meets the... I wonder how Max is doing. Probably getting into some sort of trouble. Ah, there's this really inspiring phrase. It's on the tip of my tongue. I must have read it somewhere. Damn. I miss my friends back in Fort Atlas, but being a raider is awesome. Could put up posters, but nah, raiders want to see blood. I'll hand out skulls instead. 